All right, so here's what's happening on this one. The garage door will not go down. It's detached right now from the trolley. So when you, see if I can find the remote. I'm gonna get up here. When you hit the button for it to move, you get, it buzzes and then stops. So I started looking and I see the trolley and it's stuck on this stop bolt right here. This guy, not stuck, but you know. So what I think I'm gonna try to do, I think, is loosen this guy right here and let the um, let the, the tension off the chain, put the door down, and then see if I can get the trolley to move. At least that's what I'm gonna try. So uh, let me get a wrench. have all I've got is an adjustable with me. Yeah, you see what you on the shop. Let's see. How does that move? Is it this thing? It should go. getting in there good at all. Tell you what, let me see if I can find a tool. I'll come back. Okay, I was able to find another wrench. A smaller one. Move it. I just moved it a bit. And it seems like there's a lot of slack in the chain. <laughs> so, let's see what it does now. No. Nah, nothing. Hmm. Like it's, I mean, it is right on that bolt right there, and it looks like it's like like it's stuck on it. See right there. Hmm. I mean, but there's a lot of slack. here man there's a lot so maybe I didn't move it any uh, okay I'm gonna try to mess with this fold again and see what I'm actually moving because I mean it is tight 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 right there and that goes to the motor so all right I'm gonna try that but I can't do it with you here so hang on all right so here's what I did <laughs> I loosened this one and this came out so I made room and I started twisting this so what this is doing is spinning this whole this whole shaft right here this way and so it loosened up the uh, it loosened up the chain so now um, you can see at one point it was here so I hit it I should have had it filming but I hit it uh, remote controls down here and since it was off the stop, it, uh, or the tension was loosened, it pulled itself off the stop. So let's see what it does here. It should engage. Okay, it did. So let's bring it back up. Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened, why it decided 
to go all the way against the stop. So I need to tighten those back and I probably, I don't know, that seems like, I don't know if that's too much tension or not. I might just leave it there. I mean, it's not that much off of it. So I think I'm gonna tighten it back up. Uh, probably need to bring, bring some lubricant in to get all over the chain and everything, but uh, I'll throw it up and down a little bit and hopefully that's it. Um, I was also going to adjust the travel so it didn't go up so far, but I mean, look how far away it is from the stop. I don't know how it got back there. I have no idea how it got back there. Huh. Well, it's working now. Let's try it one more time. chain I feel like that chain's riding a little low Ooh, what happened there did it come off no it's just taking up the slack okay yeah all right I'm gonna have to take the slack back up too much slack in it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll do that and then come back and uh, we'll test it. All right, so here's all I can come up with. I took, put some more tension in uh, and then tighten this nut back. All this does is keeps, uh, keeps this whole assembly up against this bracket. So put a little bit more tension in. Let me close it here and I'll show you. Uh, maybe here we go you can see now it's not slacking and when it's closed there's no tension I mean there's no slack but it's definitely it definitely needs some lubrication it's pretty pretty bad and you can see on both sides see it's pretty tight right there so I think I'm gonna keep it right there One more time, make sure. Stop where it's supposed to. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It just lost its mind. That's all I can come up with. So hopefully that'll be good. All right, that's it for this one.